Welcome to Young Business Professionals. I'm Felix and today I'm presenting to you the third video of our APQP series. In a few minutes I will explain to you the most important facts to be considered in APQP Phase 1, the so-called project planning phase. If you are interested in increasing your automotive knowledge, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and like the video. You may also check out our Facebook page through which we would like to create a community that shall support each other, growing everybody's knowledge. What is the purpose of the APQP Phase 1 project planning? After receiving the project nomination from the customer at the end of APQP Phase 0, the project planning phase is kicked off. As the name already says, the purpose of this phase is mainly to plan all activities and resources that will be needed in the whole project. But as you can see in the phase diagram on that slide, also a couple of activities from phase 2 are launched and running already in parallel. For instance, the product design process may run already once the project is kicked off. But let's start from the beginning. The starting point of phase one is the project kickoff meeting. This meeting is giving the official project order to the project team. Typically, the whole future project team and members of the management are joining these meetings. The meeting is symbolizing as well the handover of the responsibility from the sales team to the project team. The scope of the project will be introduced roughly to the full team. The majority of the participants was already involved in the RFQ phase before, but in case team members are changing, it makes sense to introduce the content again. It's also important to define the real project targets and even more important to define non-targets as pretty often project scope is adjusted during the lifetime of the project and it is important to distinguish from the original target and new requirements that have been added later on. During the kickoff meeting, timing requirements, budget requirements and the most important product and quality requirements will be introduced to the team. In addition, all team members will be defined and the team is cross-checking if there are still open points available from the previous project phase. These will be listed in order to make sure that the responsible team member may solve them within the redefined timing targets. Once the meeting is closed, the project team starts to work during the first phase. The majority of the activities is related to the project manager. Project planning time plan. He is starting to transform the drafted time plan that was already created in phase zero into a more detailed one that is considering all internal working packages that will be aligned according to internal and customer milestones. All important project milestones such as the design freeze, first off tool parts, availability, PPAP and start of production should be considered. It is useful for the project manager to analyze the time plan with regard to the critical path. The critical path is a chain of working packages or activities during the project that in case one single step in this chain is delayed, the rest of the activities inside this chain will delay accordingly. So we are talking about the most sensitive activities of the project with regard to delays. So this is a kind of risk analysis that may help the project manager to understand priorities during the project. Project planning budget calculation. Once the project plan is done, it's time to review once again if major changes to the product cost calculation and the project budget plan needs to be performed. In the best case, there is no update that needs to be driven, but often new requirements from the customers are coming up and it is important to monitor these ones in order to raise the hand asking to compensate the change cost accordingly. This is a permanent activity that should be repeated in each of the project phases. Quality gate phase one. 
Once all these activities are done, the project manager has the pleasure to present the progress of the process phase to the management and the top management of the company. That may then decide, based on the recommendation of the project manager, to release APQP phase 1 and open the gate to phase 2. During such a gate review, the project manager is presenting which activities have been performed and if they have been closed in time. In case there are still actions unfulfilled, this is the right time and place for the manager to escalate that to the management and to ask for special attention and support of the management. In such a case, the management team may of course also decide to not release the phase. Anyhow, in case they release the phase, the team is proceeding with activities for the next phase. Well, this was my short introduction into the project planning stage. Thanks to all of you for watching this video until the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm looking forward for your likes and your feedback below the video. Please subscribe to my channel to not miss further APQP updates. Please feel free to join our Facebook community. You will find the link below the video. Have a great day.